An appeal for the global community to do more to empower persons with disabilities and help them secure their rights went out this week as hundreds of delegates gathered at the UN. At their annual meeting, the state's parties to the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities looked ahead at mainstreaming the rights of those persons in the post-2015 development agenda. Among the issues raised were the need for full enjoyment of human rights for persons with disabilities in times of disasters, refugee movements, and humanitarian emergencies. Opening the conference, Deputy Secretary General Jan Eliasson reminded those in attendance that the quality of a society is ultimately determined by how it deals with and treats its most vulnerable citizens, a message that delegates now hope will reverberate beyond the UN. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon was in Central Asia this week to promote a common response to the many cross-border challenges the five countries there face. Drug trafficking, transboundary crime, environmental issues, access to water and energy. At a conference on water held in Tajikistan, Mr. Ban declared that water is life, water is health, water is dignity, water is a human right, and urged nations in the region and beyond to renew their commitment to safe water and sanitation. In Kazakhstan, the Secretary General told a meeting of religious leaders that there is no greater cause today than building bridges of understanding and cooperation among communities. During the visit, which also included stops in Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan, the UN chief touched on key UN priorities, such as ensuring sustainable development and tackling climate change. The visit is his second to the Central Asian region as Secretary General, following his first trip in 2010. More than 100,000 migrants have arrived in Europe in the first five months of 2015, with record numbers now arriving in Greece. The figures have increased dramatically, particularly in Greece, um, where we have seen arrivals of an average of 600 a day. Uh, this is obviously straining um, enormously the local uh, reception capacities, which are to begin with, almost even non-existent in many of the islands. UN refugee agency staff on the ground report that over 90% of the arrivals are from Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, Somalia, and Eritrea. Everyone needs to be registered, but the numbers are overwhelming the local authorities. We're seeing this as a growing trend, are making the decision that life in the neighboring countries of Lebanon, Jordan, and in, in, in many cases also Turkey, is becoming so difficult, miserable, untenable, um, and that they're making decisions. Um, this war doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon. Uh, my kid is not in school. I'm not able to work. I'm going to take the decision. I'm going to risk my life and cross the Mediterranean to go to Europe.